Hello everyone, how are you doing? I hope you are all doing wonderful. Have you ever wondered if there is a way to transport your things, your items from one project to another one? I have a good news for you. There is a really cool feature in Scratch that enables you to transport things like sparse pieces of code, sounds and even customs from one project to another project you can transport things from your own project or someone else's project and reuse it this feature is called a backpack using a backpack you can drag items from a project drop it in your backpack and reuse it in another project if you would like to see how stick around in a minute i'm going to show you if you would like to support my channel so that I can create more content for you, press like, subscribe, and hit the bell so that you will see my new video uploads. Welcome to Kitty Code Ninja Tutorial. This is Ellie and this is your place to learn to code and have fun. All right, you can look at your backpack as something like a backpack that you carry around with you when you go shopping. So now I'm in the scratch website so i'm gonna shop around for things that i need and drop them in my backpack if you look at here when you're logged in into your profile there is a folder right beside your name which your which my stuff or your stuff are in there so if i click here i will see all of my my projects here so let's say i want to take something from my fishbowl project and then i also want to take something from my flying center project so i open both of them i'm also gonna take a couple of things from someone else's project within the scratch community so let's say I'm going to explore and then I just click on one random project, maybe this one. And then some items are there as well. I've also created a new project by clicking on the create button. Now, if you look at this part here, the backpack is right here. So right here, currently the backpack is empty. I'm gonna shop around and fill it with all the things that I'm interested to keep. So, Let's go here, say inside. Let's say from this one, I want to take the, um, maybe this piece of code. So all I need to do is I click on the backpack and I drag this and put it into my backpack. So you see that the code is showed up here in the form of script. Now, if I go back to here and I refresh, this one should be added to my backpack so that I can reuse it in my new projects. So as you can see, when I went back to this new project that I just created, I'm just going to give it a name, Backpack. Tutorial. Uh, so this piece of code has appeared into this script. If I want to use it, all I need to do is I can go to the code tab and I can drag it right to my sprite. So I had a code for 
a jumping Peppa Pig. Now I've I've dragged it on top of my cat sprite. So if I click here, I should see by pressing space, I can make this cat jump. So without the need to rewriting it, I could reuse it simply by taking it from my other projects. And also let's go and see what this person named T and Tent has in their project. So I go see inside. Let's take a sprite from here. So I go to my backpack, I just drag it here. And then when I refresh this one, it should show up here. And I should make sure that I save first. One thing that is very important is when you take a piece of code or anything, any item from someone else's project, you need to make sure that you are acknowledging that this thing is copied from somewhere else and preferably you need to modify it a bit to make it your own version. So what I can do is I go back and then I copy this link and this name. So first thing you see that the sprite came here and when I'm gonna share it, there is a part which is notes and credits. So I should say thanks to the name of the person was TN Tent, the ID. And taken from, or like, um, project link and then I paste it here so that I've acknowledged that it's taken from somewhere else. So I go back to inside my project again. So now that I've taken this sprite from the other project, this is available to me. I can drag it here. And then when I go to the code, this sprite with the whole code that it has is now accessible from my project. So if I click on the flag, you see this sprite and all the code associated with it is here. So we're not gonna go into the detail of that because the purpose was just to see how we can use it, but you can go and check it out later. We can also import sounds and even costumes. So all you need to do is just go to the project of your choice. Maybe I go here and click on the part that you needed, like sounds, for instance. Here there is a sound. If I want it, I can just drag it to my into my backpack. Or like from here, I can just drag it into my backpack. The same for costumes. Let's say I have this Santa. This Santa is not a good example. Maybe this gift has two variations. If I want to take only one costume, it's still possible. So I just drag it here. And you see it appeared as the form of costume, but not a sprite. So I can have access to it from my backpack in any other project. So you can look at it as a backpack you're taking with you to go to the shopping mall and shop around among the, all the projects that are on the Scratch community and using it for yourself. This feature is very useful to 
create new projects much faster and without wasting time on things that are already built and is very useful when you want to continue on other projects that are already made and improve on the things within the Scratch community. If you like the video, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell and share it with your friends so that I'm encouraged to create more content for you. See you soon next week. Bye.